Hello, listeners. Thanks for tuning in to Legitimately Mally, brought to you by Axiom Talent Management, starring Mally and Butler, and created by Mahalia Jackson Butler. Tune in for loads of fun and shenanigans and some drama with Mally, her friends, and her family. See ya! Morning, Mom and Dad. Oh, yes, looks like I'm right on time. Morning, baby. Sit down and I'll fix your plate. How's my other favorite girl this morning? I'm actually really good. Happy to have that crazy week of school behind me, and I'm looking forward to hanging out with Mrs. P and Sophie today. Well, enjoy the weekend, baby. Your old man is going to be in the lab cooking up a new marketing strategy. Sounds amazing. Oh, yeah? Well, if you're interested, I'd love to tackle the work as a father and daughter duo. How's that sound? Sounds like a lousy idea to me. Now, TJ. You know good and well this child wants to do anything but hang out with us. Well, at least not in your think tank working on selling strategies with you. It's the weekend. Let her spend some time with her friends. Oh, yeah? So says you. Let's get it from the horse's mouth. Baby girl, how's hanging with your old man this weekend sound? That's the door. Oh, get it. Hmm. <laughs> Saved by the bell. Mom, be nice now. Oh. Me? TJ knows I love him. And you too, sugar. Now fix me a plate of whatever it is you cooked this morning. <laughs> you got it. Guys, Mrs. P and Sophie are here to pick me up. Um, Dad, no offense, but I'm rolling with these two today. No surprise there. Mom. Morning, everyone. Excuse Sophie. She needs a quick restroom break before we take off. Hmm, everything okay? Yeah, she's fine. She just needs a minute to herself to zen out. She had some negative energy hit her from social media on the way here. Oh, poor thing. Well, have a little breakfast while you wait. No, thanks. I'm on a spiritual journey to enlightenment, so I'll be fasting for the next three days. Mm-hmm. Apples don't fall far from the tree. Listen. You better be careful with that fasting mess, honey. Pastor Johnny had the congregation do a fast last year, and they nearly took Pope Sister Mary right on out of here. Oh, how so? Don't ask. Let's just say Sister Mary loves food a little more than the rest of the congregation. How about a little more than the rest of the world? I second that. Calm down, everyone. I'm fine. I just needed a sec to tame the crazy dragon that was terrorizing my mind. Okay, that's my cue. See you girls later. Bye, Dad. Sounds intense, Soph. No kidding. You try battling crazy dragons most days of the week. You'd be a little quirky, too. Soph, it is really never-ending with you. But hey, that's why you're my girl, right? <laughs> so, are you sure you're good now? Yep, had an easy calm on deck, and now Zen is my middle name. Right. Like I said before, apples. Well, ready to go? Yep. I can't wait for you to check out this vintage costume store that my mom discovered years ago. She found it during her theater days. Yes, I'm so excited about it. We are going to have the dopest party and costumes. Yes! Bye, guys. I'll have Melly back home in a few hours. <laughs> That's great. I'm going to walk you girls out. Okay. Ciao, Jay Molly Rain. Mm-hmm. Make sure those girls behave themselves. Hey, Mom. Looks like it's just us today. You want to get in some retail therapy at that new mall downtown? Then we can grab a late lunch while we're out. Mm-hmm. Don't change the subject. Which one? Oh, my. Here we go again. Is this about Mally's and my choice of friends? Because if it is, then I am going to respectfully decline that chat. No. I happen to adore the girls. They're a little odd, but some folks say the same thing about me. Okay. So then what's got you so wound up? And clearly, I missed something. Either my ears deceive me, or did I, in fact, just hear Mally mention costumes and a Halloween party? Mom, 
please don't start this talk about Halloween again. Mally likes the holiday and, you know, it's certainly not for any negative reason. It's, it's just a day for her and her friends to, you know, have a little innocent fun. Where's the harm in that? No harm, I guess. But I also guess it shouldn't matter that I'm hosting Hallelujah Night over Halloween at the church this year. Shouldn't matter one bit. Shameful that my own granddaughter won't be there to help kick off the festivities. Oh, let's not get into this now. Mal has made it very clear to her dad and me, you know, that she doesn't really want to participate in the event this year. What? And we support her decision. Oh, really? Hmm. Well, if that's how she feels, then why would she not have come to me to talk about it? That's a very good question, Mom. Maybe you should ask her. Now, I'm going to go shopping and out for lunch. I hope you'll join me. Yeah, baby, I'm coming. But you buy. <laughs> well, of course I am. Anything from my favorite girl. Excuse me. You all need to settle down. The release bell has not yet rung, and you know I have no problem keeping you here with me for a few minutes after it does. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the Pythagorean theorem. Did I mention it was my favorite mathematical formula to learn when I was just a wee little boy? Self-taught, I might add. Yeah, only about a hundred times. I heard that. Anyhow, now that we've covered today's lesson, who could like to expound on the theorem for extra credit? Let's not all volunteer at once. Aha! Finally, brave soul. Sandy, you have the floor. Oh, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chetty. You know you could have just answered from your seat, Sandy. Yes, I know. But I prefer to be front and center, so I got everyone's attention. So... Oh, boy. Here we go. As I was saying, the formula is simply a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In mathematics, it is a fundamental relation in the Euclidean geometry among the three sides of a right triangle. She's... So brilliant. What? Oh, uh, um, brilliant, but also very annoying. Mm-hmm. Hey, three amigos. <clears throat> no talking during my floor time. Okay, Sandy, that will be all. But I'm not done yet. The theorem is used anytime there is a right triangle. And you know the length of two sides, but one to know the length of the third side, which is obviously missing. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Great job. As usual. My pleasure. Anything to help my fellow classmates. Thank heaven. So, Ernie, you totally missed out on costume shopping this weekend. Yeah, wish you could have come with us. Mally and I nearly found perfect outfits. But only we didn't. Huh? So, you didn't find a costume. Right. It was a total bust. Would have been great if we were going for a Shakespearean era look, but that was a definite no for me. How about you? Buying a costume this year? Guys, for the millionth time, you know my mom makes my costumes. She'd be devastated if I told her I wanted to go out and purchase one. I'm just going to have to take one for the team. Again. No problem. Just tell me you won't be a cartoon character this oh, year. Oh, please, not another cartoon character. We'll be edged for sure if you show up like that again. Actually, I think I might come out on top this year. She's working on a pretty awesome idea. Care to share the deets? Nope. I'd rather leave both of you in suspense. Fine. Enough about that. Guys, we still have another dilemma to manage. Oh, yeah? Like what? So, you and I talked about it while we were shopping last weekend. Hello? <sighs> now that our costumes are nearly squared away, meaning that we know the looks that we don't want to go with, and we've decided to host the Halloween party of the decade, we still don't have a venue, and my money is very funny right now. Oh, yeah, that. I'm pretty broke, too. So that leaves Ernie. No way, Jose. 
I'm not going to spend my hard-earned money on booking a Halloween venue. No can do. Besides, my dad would kill me if he ever found out that I squandered away my savings on a party. Who says he'd ever find out? Mally! Oh, calm down. Just kidding. Right. Look, there's a monster house. So, why do you feel compelled to announce we're in front of Monster House several times a week during Halloween season? I don't know. I guess I say it out loud to keep myself from silently freaking out over it. You guys know that place is haunted, right? You gotta be kidding. So, haunted by what? Dead rats? That was just a rumor that was started years ago to keep us kids and squatters away from the property. Well, mission accomplished. Woo! I am going nowhere near that place. Hmm. What, Mally? I know what hmm means. Well, we all know the place isn't haunted. We also know that we're looking for content for our IG channel and a venue for the party. So... Mally, if you say it, I swear I'm going to go into full panic mode in five, four, three, two... Sophie, please relax. (sighs) Guys, all we need to do to start is simply walk up to the porch and knock on the door. And what would that accomplish? Confirming it's not haunted, that no squatters are living there and scoping out the venue for our party. Oh, and not to mention, it'll make for good ding-dong-ditch footage for our channel, if nothing else. Count me out! Mal, come on, let's just consider a few other options first. I'm going over there. Just record me as I walk up. Mally, please don't. That panic attack is now imminent. (gasps) Oh, shoot. Where's my bag? Oh, look, you guys decided to wait for me. How sweet. So what? What's up with Sophie? Is she having another one of her fits? Girl, you really need to get a grip. Sandy, I've had just about enough of you, and if you don't get out of here, I'm gonna- Now, relax. I just can't with her right now. So, don't sweat her crazy comment. Gee whiz, chill out. I was just funning around with her. Calm down. Right. Sandy, we're trying to talk Mally out of doing Ding Dong Ditch at Monster House. You mean you guys have never ditched this place? It's kind of a rite of passage. I almost did it last year, but a nosy neighbor stopped me. And it's a good thing they did. That place is haunted. Haunted smarted. I'll prove to you that it's not. Sandy, no. Don't go over there. And we're recording. What's up, IG fam? Let's watch our very own Sandy Ding Dong Dish the Neighborhood Haunted House. And there she goes. Here goes nothing. Hey, I don't think the doorbell works. Guys, call an ambulance. I think I'm about to pass out. Sandy, get back over here. Sophie's sick and we're leaving. I'm not leaving until I've gotten my footage. Knock on the door, Super Sandy. <laughs> Right. It's it's haunted. He's in here. Run. OMG, that was wild. Someone's living in there? Crazy. You see? I told you disturbing that house was a bad idea. You just don't listen, Mally. And now we're all going to be haunted. Oh shoot. Where's my easy calm gummy? <gasps> Sophie That probably wasn't a ghost we just saw at the door. It was probably just some old squatter. No big deal. Oh boy, this is bad. Very bad. Yeah, and I caught it all on video. Yes, our IG channel is gonna blow up. You aren't serious right now, are you? I assure you that she is. What? No one was hurt. Well, maybe Sandy's ego, which reminds me, maybe one of us should go check on her because she's obviously pretty freaked out. Exactly. And we really don't know who we just ding-dong ditched. Let me remind you, he can identify us. Exactly! Hello? Anybody home, Mally? Sheesh! This was a totally bad idea. I'm so over your crazy dare. Whoa, Sophie, are you really mad at me? I mean, I didn't mean any harm. I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. No, I'm not mad. Just freaked out. 
and, well, it did do harm. Sandy's a screaming lunatic, and now we've disturbed someone, or something. Who knows who we are? How are we going to fix this mess? Okay, let's take a beat and not jump to too many conclusions. First things first. Mal, you need to delete that video. Say what now? Come on, Mal. This is serious. Fine. I'll watch it first. Mally. Phone. Now, please. Ugh. You guys are blowing this way out of proportion. Ugh. Here. There. Now it's deleted. In the meantime, I'm gonna do some damage control with Sandy so she doesn't tell her parents. We'll call the cops and be led right back to us for ding-dong ditching in the first place. Yeah. And then we'll all go to prison for trespassing. Sophie, that'll hardly be the case. Ernie, I'm fine with that plan. Well, look on the brighter side of things. I mean, at least we know the house isn't haunted, right? Says who? I've got to get to Sandy. Let's talk tonight. Okay. Well, Sophie, you want me to walk you home? Nah, I'll manage. Just call me tonight. Okay. Bye. Man, that was a close call. What was I thinking? Get it together, Malian. Yeah, well, I heard on the news today that some old crazy virus is taking root in China. Baby, do you know anything about that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there have been some minor rumblings about it in the medical community, but uh, not much serious talk yet. So, uh, not, you know, really a whole lot to be alarmed about. It's probably nothing more than another bird or swine flu. At least I hope that's all it is. Heaven help us all if it gets worse and starts spreading. Amen to that, Mom. Hi, guys. Oh, wow, dinner smells great. Dinner smells great, my foot. Where have you been, young lady? You were supposed to help me cook dinner tonight? Um... Malian, wash your hands and take a seat. You know we were expecting you more than an hour ago. So what happened? Oh, um, things ran over at, at, at a club after school. Yeah, yeah. Laney, you need to call that school tomorrow. They shouldn't be keeping these children out this late without prior permission, especially during this time of year. It's already dark outside. I'll take care of it, Mama. Baby girl, you seem a little on edge. What's going on with you? And don't dare tell me it's nothing. Did something happen that we should know about? No, Tim. Aren't you reaching just a bit? I mean, she just walked in from a long day at school is all. Right, sweetheart? And it's been a really long week. I mean, T to the G, I to the F. Huh, Sugar Plum? Well... Well, what? Spit it out, child. Ugh. You guys are going to be so upset with me. I mean, I meant no harm. I was just following an instinct to build my IG following. Hey, Dad, haven't you always told me to go with my first instincts? Yeah, when playing chess. Malian Celeste Adams. Little girl, what in the world have you and your friends gotten into? Because I know they were with you. You spill the tea right now, young lady. <sighs> All right. Well, you know Monster House down the street? Monster House? You know, the creepy house on the corner. Us kids call it Monster House. You mean Mr. Johnson's house? Huh? Someone you know lives there. Yes, but that's irrelevant. What about Monster House? Well, we decided... I I mean, I decided that we should do Ding Dong Ditch there. A uh, Ding Dong what? Yes, but it was only supposed to be a joke and proof that the house wasn't haunted. We didn't know anyone lives there. And I would have never have done it if oh I had Oh my known. goodness, Mally. What happened? Well, we didn't get to go through with the plan because Sandy showed up and took over, so she was the one who actually did it. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? Well, someone answered the door. An old tall man. We thought he was a squatter, maybe even a killer, so we all screamed and ran away. Sandy was pretty freaked out when we left her, and Sophie had a panic attack. I feel pretty awful about it now that I think of it. Excuse me. I got a call to make. Laney, watch dinner. I'll check on Henry. Who's Henry, Dad? Mr. Henry Johnson is the nice gentleman who happens to also be the owner of the neighborhood monster house. This conversation is far from over, young lady. I'll call Sandy's mom to check on Sandy. Malian, we are going to need to have a serious talk about choices and decisions. 
You're right, Mom. I'm sorry. I mean, I meant no harm, but I see now that I caused a big mess. No, no. Settle down. Settle down, sweetie. We'll, we'll sort this out and everything will be fine. Let's just get through dinner and we'll discuss the consequences of your actions later. Yes, ma'am. Oh, no, little lady. We're going to discuss these consequences right here and now. I've just gotten off the phone with your friend's parents, and we're all in agreement that you kids are going to march right down to Mr. Johnson's house tomorrow morning and apologize to him face to face. You might even offer a little yard cleanup, too, since you think his home looks like a monster house and all. Mom, no, don't you think that's a bit extreme? I mean, Tim's already called to explain everything, and I think everything's fine now. No, Elaine, Mom's right. We need to let the kids learn this lesson. They should apologize face to face and provide yard cleanup if he'll accept it. He's a very proud man. Now, don't you agree? Mm, I do. I guess I'm just trying too hard to shield her from the consequences, just like Daddy did for me. And you're doing a good job, baby. But our girl and her friends need to learn this lesson and build this muscle. Malian, I expect you to call all your friends and that Sandy tonight so you all can settle on a time to head over to Mr. Johnson's house in the morning. Yes, ma'am. Okay, guys, here goes. I'll knock and do the talking. You got that, Sandy? I'm a highly intelligent person. I do understand English, you know. Oh, boy. Mally. She understands. We're ready. Oh, man. Where's my bag? Well, hello again, children. Hello, Mr. Johnson. My name is Mally and Adams. Well, Mally, and these are my friends. Ernie, Sophie, and Sandy. Mm-hmm. Pleasure making your acquaintance. Yes, thank you. And likewise. Sandy, please stand down. Oh, okay, right. Anyhow, Mr. Johnson, um, it was us who were on your porch yesterday. Sandy there rang your bell and knocked on your door. We thought this place was abandoned and we were totally freaked out. I, I mean, shocked when someone, I, I mean, you answered the door. I see. So it was you who did the knocking, young lady. Yes. I am an aspiring leader and I believe in taking charge in most situations. Sandy. Cut it out. Fine. Is your friend there okay? She looked like she might pass out. Who, me? Oh, yes. I'm fine now. Just waiting for my easy calm to kick in. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate you kids stopping by and apologizing. Honestly, I've been neglecting yard work and sprucing up the place since my wife passed away. Oh, I'm sorry about your wife. That's so sad. Yes, yeah, sad, but it's been 30 years. I've known what the children have thought of this place for a long time. And every Halloween, I deal with my share of shenanigans from your age group, including Ding Dong Ditch. Guess you could say I've gotten used to it and might even look forward to it a little. Whoa, pardon my saying so, but that's pretty depressing. I'll say. You should meet my mom. I'm sure she knows of a good recipe to perk you up a little. Thank you, dear, but I'll be fine. Well, if you allow us to, we're prepared to help you with yard cleanup today. Well, I don't know about that. No, it's no bother at all. And besides, my grandma Lorraine says that we don't have a choice and not to take no for an answer. We even brought supplies. See? Mm-hmm. I see. Okay. You kids have at it. I'll see if I can get some hot chocolate together for you. Sounds great. Okay, guys, let's get started. Oh, and Mr. Johnson, thanks for being so nice to us, even though we don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, dear. Oh, hi, Grandma. Hi, baby. How'd it go? Actually, it went great. Turns out Mr. Johnson is a very nice guy. So I've heard. Did you and your friends help clean his yard like we discussed? We sure did. And he served us hot chocolate once we were done. Good girl. N now come sit with me for a moment. Now you know I'm always happy to see or hear about you doing the right thing. <laughs> yes, I know. 
And you also know you can talk with me about anything, right? Of course I do, Grandma. Where's this coming from? Bear with me. Okay. So why did you feel you couldn't tell me how you really felt about joining me at Hallelujah Night over Halloween at the church? Oh, that. Yes, that. I mean, I guess I just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I know how much that event means to you. I just, I think I've outgrown it. But not only that, I like hanging out with my friends on Halloween. We don't do anything crazy. It's just a cool holiday for us is all. I understand, Sweet Pea. From now on, though, I want you to come to me about anything, especially if it's a crazy idea you're considering, like the incident with Mr. Johnson. I promise I will next time. Well, at least things turned out good in that situation. He got his yard cleaned, and you kids learned a valuable lesson. Well, it ended up being a win-win type of situation for both him and us. Oh yeah? How so? Monster House is our venue for the Halloween party, and Mr. Johnson is hosting it. Say what now? Yup, I love it when a plan comes together. Mally! Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check in next week for an all-new episode. Mally.